this lesson, we will talk about contract categories. Contract categories are a way to filter independently of customer or type of contract for your reporting. So the best practice is to use your general ledger accounts as a base and work from there or grow from there. And also keep in mind different kind of vendors you use, which you may have an API connection with. And also keep in mind those, because if you have vendors with an API connection, you might want to uh, make a category just based on those. So you can just very easily change the contracts or filter on the contracts from those vendors. So you can change them when they, for example, raise their prices or if there's something else you might want to change. And the general ledger accounts are a best practice for reporting purposes. So contract categories are an easy way to just filter in your live reports or in your widgets or stuff like that. And yeah, it's very easy to set it up. So let's take a look in Autotask, shall we? Okay, so in Autotask, first I will show you where you can filter on the contract categories. So let's go to the contract search by going to the menu in the top left corner and going to contracts right here and just clicking on it. And as you can see, that will open the contract search. And in the contract search, right in the middle of the screen right here, we have contract category. So as you can see, I can just very easily filter on which category I might want to make visible. And after I've filtered on it, I can just click on search and all the contracts with those categories will just be visible for me. So it's very easy. Let's go to the setup page. So what we can do is we can go to the menu in the top left corner. Click on admin right here and go to contracts at the bottom right here and expand on the plus sign. And as you can see, contract categories is right here at the top. So I, I will just click on it and it'll open the categories. As you can see, these are the default categories which Autotask has. And as I've said before, just keep in mind your general ledger accounts and use those as the basics or as the, um, as the fundament and build on those from there. And also keep in mind which vendors you might have an API connection with and just you might want to make a separate category for each vendor so you can just very easily change the pricing and stuff like that because you can just filter on it. Well, as I've said before, it's very easy to just filter on contract category if you want to make a widget or if you want to make a live report. And because the contract categories are very company specific because of your own very specific general ledger accounts, we don't have a template for this one, but just keep in mind your general ledger accounts and you should be okay.